Skyrocketing drug prices are leaving millions of Americans with some tough choices. We've spoken to consumers who tell us food or medication, I can't decide. We're tr and that is, that's not one family, that is family after family after family. 34-year-old pharma bro Martin Shkreli, profiled on the next American Greed, drew worldwide scorn when he raised the price of a life-saving drug 5,000%. The way I see it, you can go down in history as the poster boy for greedy drug company executives, or you can change the system. Yeah, you. For now, tighter price controls on prescription drugs appear to be out of reach. That means the best defense may be self-help. To keep the high cost of your medications from paralyzing you, check the cost of your meds and shop around. Lisa Gill of Consumer Reports says you may find a better price just around the corner. Drug prices can vary within the same zip code dramatically, and it can be jaw-dropping. Ask for the generic version of the drug. In most cases, a generic drug will be about 80% less than a branded drug. Ask your doctor if you can do without the drug. A lot of people are taking medications that they do not need. We think about insurance as a way to save money, but that's not always the case. Ask your pharmacist. By contract, they're not allowed to give you the lowest price unless you ask. So you have to say, what's the lowest possible price you can offer if I didn't use my insurance? Asking the right questions can keep your finances healthy and beat the pharma bros at their own game. Scott Cohn, CNBC's American Greed.